Where's Mr. Egg this morning? I am on the intersection of Pattaya Glang, Central Pattaya Road, which is running along here, and Second Road. For, for many, many years, in fact, as long as I can remember, this used to be the site of, remember, Top Supermarket and the bowling alley here on this intersection, but no more. About, oh, maybe nearly 18 months ago now, it was knocked down, and there's a brand new complex going up uh, and here is the artist's impression of what's going to be here uh, there's going to be a firework display every single day and women walking clearly women walking around in bikinis so this is the place to be and there's a lot of development here and today's video is all about the stretch of road from second uh, on second road from central patia down to north patia into Naglua and Terminal 21 because this area is changing beyond recognition and it's going to get even bigger and better over the next few years. Let's go and take a look on Second Road. Just opposite Tops, before we even get in on the bike, we, there's, there's somewhere here, we haven't actually seen this one before. This is a plot of land, it looks like one rye and it's called 22CM. It's clearly going to be a small development for very little people. Just a little bit down, and before we've even thought about getting near to Soy 6, is this site of a hotel that I actually stopped in in the early 2000s with my mother. Uh, the Montian Hotel. Who remembers the Montian? Uh, it was on this site here. Uh, look at it, it's lovely. It was sold to the Imperial Group. The Imperial Group had a hotel on Soy 22. Uh, in Sukhumvit Road uh, that was sold to buy this and that was many many years ago I think over a decade now and nothing has happened the, all I remember about this hotel is that the, the, the entrance was quite spectacular and if you I know my cameraman is feeling particularly athletic this morning maybe we could take a look at that tree as you walk in one of the most amazing sights it was a lovely hotel a uh, lovely swimming pool if I remember but again has this been developed? No. What, what, what's going on in this area? It's full of corrugated iron and things hidden away. But this is it, the, the, the old Montian Hotel, 10 years and yet to be developed. Still not quite to Soy 6, and again on the left-hand side of the one-way system here, this piece of land has been empty for as long as I can remember. Uh, I remember... Um, somebody who sold real estate telling me this was the last plot of land big plots of land by the beach and it does go all the way to the beach look how huge it is over christmas time uh, according to this sign this was the chang beach street food area sponsored by a well-known brand of soda water here in thailand and that was actually right by the front of the beach in fact i think it's still there it's been uh, sort of uh, boarded up away from this area they used to park a lot of um, coaches Chinese tourists Korean tourists the coaches used to park here and then the tourists used to scuttle across the road at Beach Road trying not to get run over to uh, pick up a, a speedboat on Beach Road they stopped that when they went to Bali High so th this has been empty like I say for, for 20 maybe 30 years and it, it, it's becoming very clear as we continue the video that there is so much development and land that is lying empty on this stretch of road. And if you just come round here, you'll see that this used to be a hotel. And for the life of me, I can't remember the name of the hotel. So, was it the Grand Soleil? I think, it, I think it's just come to me. I think it was called the Grand Soleil. This that hotel was knocked down. This is part of the new extension of Centric Sea. So development going on there as well. This, this place here, again, early 2000s, about 2003, 2004, used to be a lovely little run of beer bars, and I used to come here every night. And they weren't that popular, they weren't that busy, to be honest. But um, there was always, you know, a nice girl to talk to, and, a, you know, a newbie come down from the village or whatever. There's an interesting little feature of one up here. Let's go and take a look at that.
just opposite Soy 6. So it just gone past Soy 6, actually. And many years ago, again, the same sort of time zone, about 15 years, maybe, uh, there was a collection of beer bars here. Another little gem on Second Road. They've all gone uh, about, well, just they were empty during COVID. We actually filmed here during COVID. Uh, a lot of Chinese-style massage and therapy, beauty therapy shops have been set up here. But if you look here, I'm pretty sure that this was a bar here because you can see the, the kind of murals that are left on the walls there. Uh, and you can see WKD and um, uh, uh, Original, which is uh, a Finnish drink. So clearly this was a bar. Um, around here somewhere was the bar. If anyone remembers this, there was a stage just where that uh, blue water tank is. And all the girls used to get up on the stage right at the end of the night and sing Three Degrees, When Will I See You Again? Which I always brought a little tear to my eye every time I heard it. They used to do it every night about three o'clock. This is being redeveloped. As you can see, that hotel in the back there the capital, that has been a very popular hotel for a while. Um, that, that's still standing in the hotel next to it. Over here, uh, I remember a McDonald's being built just in front of that airplane. By the way, the airplane wasn't there. Uh, I saw it being built and I saw it being knocked down again about 10 years later. Uh, if anybody remembers this area, this area here, with the food court and it was I think it's called the yeah the runway street food can I be honest a little bit disappointing it could have been a lot lot better gives off a very temporary feel you know just stick in an aeroplane and we'll just leave it for a few years not quite sure what's going to happen to this but definitely room for development and uh, for those of you who are wondering the corner bar, the old corner bar. Who remembers that down there on Soy 6? Was there for years. That's been gone maybe four years before COVID and it's still empty. So lots and lots going on uh, here on Second Road. But there's more. Anybody remember the Sabai Resort that was uh, on the other side of Second Road, opposite side to Soy 6? Uh, there was a soapy massage place here as well. And I also think there was some live music stuff going on around this area. Look at it. And you could... This is the, about the fourth place that we've passed so far where you could probably put a football stadium or a cricket stadium or whatever massive uh, again corrugated iron off and waiting to be developed what's going on who remembers drinking street we have filmed here many times in fact this right about here was the site of my famous viral short of um, two guys trying to pull a sign down and it all went catastrophically wrong uh, we might put that one in this video now uh, we, we've been filming here at Dinky Street a long time. It came down during COVID, and I'm going to have a quick look inside. Yep, it's still no, nothing there. No fantastic shopping centre stroke hotel stroke casino has been built here yet. We've had, we're going to do, be very quickly here because every time we try and film here, there's a madman who sells coconuts who, who comes at us with a machete. <laughs> I'm not joking. We're just looking out for it anyway. He's not here. So, yeah, Drinking Street, another one. Massive. We have arrived at the roundabout, the Dolphin Roundabout. We call it an island in Birmingham. If you have been to the Dolphin Island. Uh, very familiar site. That hasn't been knocked down, but just about everything else has. This one here. Uh, another plot of land, look at that. 10 by 0 by 11. Uh, another one, the, a, a massive plot of land which is for sale. Uh, lots of little shops, there was a 7-Eleven around here as well. 
and, and that's all waiting to be developed. Behind me, you, you would have remembered Kiss Food, of course. Kiss Food was just here where this water feature is. And they've gone and parked an airplane there as well. Uh, that was all knocked down, of course, Terminal 21. And maybe this was the thing that started all this talk of an action towards development uh, here in this area. Fantastic hotel, uh, five-star hotel at the top there. And of course, just around here over the island, it's an island, not a roundabout, uh, the Space Hotel. But there's more hotels coming up. Let's go and have a look. As, as somebody, is somebody playing a practical joke and put some blue paint in the, uh, in the water fountain on the island? Or is it one of them Brobat Blues, the one, that, the toilet duck sort of thing? You stuck it in the system and it, if you were posh and it turned the water blue. Interesting contrast, isn't it? Homeless man on the street and this brand new hotel going up here. This is the Akara, another four, maybe even five star hotel here just at the bottom end of Naglua by the island opposite this I mean gee first time I come to Pattaya would I ever have believed that it would be this kind of building here in this small little city the Space Hotel like I've previously mentioned this is going to be open very soon there's development going on next door as well as I've already said it's incredible what I think would be interesting wouldn't it would be to come back to this video in maybe three or four years time revisit this place and see what actually happened in this area because there's a lot going on one more to show you do you know what I've decided I'm actually selling the bar and I'm gonna set up a, a corrugated iron business because it just goes on and on this place here along here we so we're on the Glua Road now going towards the Sanctuary of Truth, if you know there. This used to be a lot of nice little tailor shops. I think there was a massage place here. Um, so, so my friends tell me there used to be a massage place here. Uh, and, and, and other little shops have all gone. And in fact, the people that were here were kind of evicted really, really quickly. Um, one minute over there and the next minute, gone. Let's have a look. Hold on, I'm checking for coconut sellers first. Hold on. Any machete wielding? No, we're all right. There you go. Lots of massages. Uh, and, and it's gone. And not only that, this little uh, area of, I don't know whether it's houses or little places for rent where you could stay, that seems to be going as well. This, this, this sign here just says, don't. <laughs> don't what? Oh, it just says cow. Yeah, don't go in. Okay. But the don't is very big. <laughs> and the enter sign is very small. So we won't. We won't go in. Um, but again, I mean, what is going on? I think we'll probably stop the video here because you've seen enough of Mr. Egg walking around in front of corrugated iron. If you think I have a great reveal at the end of this video and tell you what is going on, I'm afraid I don't. But I think what is clear is that this part of town is the new place to be and everybody wants to go here. And I don't like to blow my own trumpet, but I did kind of predict this uh, pre-COVID. I said this was going to be the place. And I, I pointed out during a couple of videos during COVID, I wouldn't mind that place there a little bar there or a little bar there they've all gone they've all just rubble behind corrugated iron now so they've been bought up uh, lots of development here of course the c word is always used by a lot of people is it going to be a casino in this area uh, the answer to that is well most very very likely no i don't think if there is a casino i don't think it will come to patty there's too much business here already uh, and, inf and the infrastructure and everything it will either go to Bangkok or somewhere near to the border uh, of Myanmar or Laos or somewhere like that so uh, it's just a developer's dream at the moment if you were lucky enough to be born 40 or 50 years ago with a plot of land around here you are going to be very very rich 
probably very, very soon. Do you have any memories of this area of town along the second road? So many, I, I used to spend most of my holiday going along second road, those little beer bars that I pointed out and uh, having a little drink in each one and little gems there. Do you have any memories of that? Please let me know in the comments. It's always nice to hear your uh, memories of Patia gone by. But for now, uh, we're going to try and find somewhere that hasn't been knocked down to have some breakfast. Uh, but we'll see you soon. Don't forget, my beer bar is on Soy Diamond. We haven't been knocked down yet <laughs> on Soy Diamond. Uh, just by the windmill. We're open at four o'clock. Please come in. Uh, we'll get a very warm welcome there. And I'm there most days. Uh, at four o'clock so please come and say hello but for me mr egg here behind corrugated iron your roving reporter see you very soon everybody bye bye <laughs>